this presentation is there is a 24 hour day or night at the polls. I would invite the students to look at our globe here, specifically at the North Pole. And as I rotate the globe, I'm going to ask them to tell me when they see the sunlight shining on the North Pole. The students would observe that the sunlight does not hit the North Pole at this time of the year, and that it stays dark all day and all night. The sun does not rise at the North Pole during this time of the year. If I move so that we have summer in the Northern Hemisphere, and then ask the students to observe again what's happening at the North Pole, they would observe that the sun never sets at this time of the year in the North Pole and that they have sunlight almost all day and all night. If we look at this chart, it demonstrates the same thing we were just looking at with the globe. If we look over here, this is winter in the Northern Hemisphere and the North Pole does not have sunlight. It does not have a sunrise or a sunset. It stays dark throughout the day and night. As we move around over to summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it points out that we have daylight all day and all night in the North Pole. If we go back to the globe and look at the North Pole and the area surrounding the North Pole, we have a line that goes around and we call this the Arctic Circle. And in the Arctic Circle, there is a day where the sun never rises and it never sets at least once. If we move our globe at the South Pole, we also have a line that goes around the area and that is the Antarctic Circle. And here too we have a day where the sun never rises or sets. As an extension, you could offer the information to the students that the word Arctic comes from a Greek word, arctos, meaning bear. The Greeks noticed that there was one star in the sky that stayed in the same position, and it showed them north. We call that star Polaris, or the North Star. The name that they gave the constellation that the star was in was Ursa Minor, or Little Bear, 